start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Waha, or Kakwadash. In Hebrew, that would be the name Yahweh, which is the name of our Almighty Heavenly Father, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, all in Hebrew. Also, let's give double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone for teaching us his truth and also honors to the brethren that's doing the work pushing this truth risking their life and freedom to do so and also honors to the hopeful relay the one third of our people who are the true believers in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai that's returning to him during these last days that had a testimony so that the Lord will have mercy on us and it's time of judgment. This is going to be World War Three update number 26. And this one here, we got breaking news that Russia just drove by the U.S. Embassy, which is in Russia, and they drove by it flashing their nukes and their new battle tanks. But let's get started with this video. Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is October the 9th, 2022. This is Sunday. So we have some breaking news coming in this morning uh, that I want to show you. And what you're looking at on your screen uh, is a historic event, folks. This is what is going on last night in Russia, that Russia, uh, as far as I know, this is the first time that they have paraded uh, live ICBMs right in front of the American embassy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, and show this video to you now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play it. But last night on October the 8th, uh, the Russian military uh, paraded two functional ICBM nuclear missiles and their latest uh, battle tanks in front of the American embassy. So let's go ahead and, and watch this video. Um, here comes the, uh, the first ICBM right now. Now, these are the YARS. Uh, mobile intercontinental ballistic missiles that can hit uh, our nation, folks. This is the first one. And if you look closely, you're going to see the American flag. Uh, they'll give a close up here in just a few minutes, but you're going to see the American flag right up on the embassy. And there's the embassy right there. Uh, th they're going to slow it down. So there's the American flag right there. You see that? They zoomed in on that. But he, this is the uh, the Russian battle tanks, the Armada, the T-14 Armada, which is Russia's latest battle tank. Now, folks, they did this for a reason. I do believe that this could be the last warning to the United States of America and NATO uh, that if you keep provoking us, there will be a nuclear war. Uh, I don't know what else you could. Um, I don't know what else you could uh, get from this, folks. I really don't. That this is probably the most blatant warning from President Vladimir Putin of a put in uh, putting in front of the American U.S. American Embassy in Moscow uh, two YARS mobile ICBMs and these missiles are huge and they uh, they can carry city killing uh, a thermonuclear warheads and he created two of those last night in front of the United States Embassy. Uh, in Moscow. So I just wanted to come on and give you this information. Uh, this is not fake news, folks. This is from Russia. And uh, let me mute my mic. They got some uh, they got some snappy music that goes with it. So I'm going to play it one more time and mute my mic and let you hear uh, the patriotic music uh, that they put with this video, just a few seconds of it. So let me go ahead and mute my mic and let you listen to that. So I do a separate video where you can hear the music. But the purpose of this video here was to show that Russia took their nukes and their new battle tanks and drove past the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. Embassy is a building for foreign affairs. So, for example, like when people want to travel to Russia from America, they deal with the U.S. Embassy or when Russians when they travel through the U.S., they deal with the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. Embassy makes sure everything is legal on both sides, as far as the documentation and what's needed to travel, and they make sure 
you know the do's and don'ts uh, for new visitors. Rather they come in to America from Russia or rather they going to Russia from America, they make sure you know the do's and don'ts. So they deal with foreign affairs. And anybody that lives in Russia, any assistant or help they need in Russia, Americans go to the U.S. Embassy. They get in any trouble, they go through the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. Embassy is like the spokesperson and the mouthpiece for America and Russia. So the Russian military, they took their nukes and their new battle tanks and they did a drive-by at the U.S. Embassy. Then you see right here, kind of low quality, but that's the flag. You see the red and white stripes, the blue black ground with the white stars. And this, this was a hardcore move. This is a dire warning to America that they better back off of Ukraine. Because these people, they've been serious from the start, but the rest of the world is starting to see how serious it's getting. Because Putin, he a mild, calm, reasonable man. I would say he's not a violent man at all. But Putin, the president of Russia, he got some hard heads in his corner. His chief commanders, his, uh, his military chiefs, they some hard heads. They been in Putin's ear since the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine to nuke America. They been telling him, no matter what you do, you got to nuke America. They the problem. So Putin got some hard heads in his corner. And regardless of what they say, Putin always be reasonable and try to go the route that looks out for the best interests of everybody. Because Putin could have been nuked to Ukraine and destroyed the Ukrainian people while destroying the United States military who was in Ukraine. But Putin is trying to be reasonable and fair. But <clears throat> you can see Putin's chief commanders. Who do you think driving those tanks? Who do you think driving these vehicles that's transporting these nukes? It's his commander in chiefs that's been telling him from the beginning, you got to nuke America. They took it upon themselves and paraded their nukes and new battle tanks in front of the U.S. Embassy. That's why I do all these World War Three updates to show our people how real this is as prophesied in the scriptures. This destruction of America is coming. It might seem redundant. This all I've been doing videos on. But when the nuclear missiles in the sky, uh, everybody going to thank me for doing these World War Three updates through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Somebody got to do it. Most of the ministry might not see this video. They might not know that this happened just last night. That's the equivalent of me, of me and you beefing, and I get my AK-47s and I drive by your residence. Hey, and then while you sitting outside, when I drive by, I flash my AK-47s at you. <clears throat> That's what Putin's military just did at the U.S. Embassy. Except these ain't no AK-47s. These some nuclear missiles. Way more devastating, way more serious. Right now, we, we, we in a battle of life and death. This is a life and death situation right here. A life and death scenario. And this could be one of the very missiles that hits America. And then you heard him say, that these are functioning ICBMs. For it to be functioning, that means it's active. It's not a blank nuke. The explosive device in it that brings the nuclear destruction is already active. It just needs to be detonated. And where do you think they transporting it to? They transporting it to the location where it'll be shot off. Okay, so this is serious. So you got the Russian military doing these hardcore moves. Meanwhile, America's military, what they doing? They having drag shows. They wearing skirts. 
They painting each other males. They getting gender reassignment surgeries. But Putin got some hard heads around them. These boys ain't playing. They they about that action. They itching to shoot these nukes off at America. So Isaiah 13 to 5. They come from a far country. Who comes from a far country? Scroll back up to verse 4. The Lord of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. Who is the host of the battle? Let's scroll up a little more. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. So these kingdoms of the different nations, they are the hosts that the Lord is gathering for the battle. So these kingdoms, so these kingdom of nations, they the host of the battle. They the key players in World War III. And one of those hosts of the battle is Russia. <clears throat> so the Lord is gathering these different countries, putting them in position for World War III. So now that we know who they is, it reads they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, which means from the end of, end of earth, from one end of the earth to the other, such as America and Russia. So again, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord. So even the Lord is part of this battle that's going to be gathered. Even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. So yeah, <clears throat> even the weapons of his, of his indignation is being gathered for this battle of Armageddon, World War III. What's the weapon of his indignation? To destroy the whole land. You looking at the weapon of his indignation right here. The weapon to destroy the whole land. What other weapon known to man can destroy the whole land? None other than a nuclear missile. So let's read this again. They come from a far country, from the end of heaven, which would be the host of the battle, which would be the kingdoms of the different nations, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. What whole land is it going to destroy? America. So yeah, the Lord is gathering the militaries of all these different countries together. And meanwhile, these different countries, they gathering their nukes for the battle. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. What is the destruction going to come from? From the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. So, the weapons of his indignation, the nuclear missiles coming to destroy America, that's the day of the Lord. That's destruction from the Almighty. Therefore, shall our hands be faint. That's when your hands get weak. When your hands get shaky, and every man's heart shall melt. That's when your heart drops to your stomach. Like when you almost get into a bad accident. What's going to cause every man's heart to melt? That's the day that these nuclear missiles are in the air. Right now, just last night, this morning, they drove it past the U.S. Embassy. That's a crucial warning to America that they're not going to take heed to. So America... And everybody that's caught in America going to die by the hand of these nuclear missiles. That's why when we hit Ezekiel 38, we're going to hit verse 10. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, it shall come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought. Now this is going into Gog and Magog which is Russia. So Russia is having an evil thought. When you drive past somebody house you don't like and you flashing a pistol at them, that's an evil thought coming into your mind. Like, let me go give them a warning. Let me go spook them. Well, the Lord gave this evil thought to the Russian military. That's an evil thought to drive past the U.S. Embassy with your nukes. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. This is America. America is completely surrounded by water on all sides. 
The cities are completely open on all sides. There is no real border within America. The only halfway border we got would be with Canada, Canada, and Mexico. Other than that, America is completely open. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. They're going to invade America by foot. And then they're going to send the nukes after the invasion. I will go to them that are at rest because these Americans are carefree, that dwell safely in their homes, thinking everything all good, being carefree, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. Man, that's what this evil thought is that we just read. It's the invasion of America, but also these nukes being shot off at America. Because before this place is invaded, the Russian military, the Chinese military, they're going to have a thought about it. They like, you know what? We should invade America. And before the missiles are shot off, they're going to have another evil thought. Like, you know what? We should nuke America. So these is the last days of peace and quiet before this nuclear destruction come. We got less than 365 days before that destruction come. So it's coming. But we just wanted to show this video called Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahawa Kakodash. Till next time, Shalom.